Lies and consequences. A Republican Alaska state lawmaker is now banned from the only airline that can fly her from Anchorage to her job at the state capitol in Juneau. Alaska Airlines says she repeatedly refused to wear a mask. Senator Laura Reinbold, known for pushing COVID conspiracy theories, now has to drive more than 14 hours across the Canadian border and then take a ferry to vote. CNN's Pete Montine reports for us now. The state senator claims that she went to, quote, new heights to serve Alaska, but she's grounded for now. Alaska State Senator Laura Reinbold was a frequent flyer of Alaska Airlines, but the carrier says confrontations like this one in the Juneau Airport became too frequent. It was after this flight that Alaska Airlines said in a statement that Reinbold is suspended from flying for her continued refusal to comply with the federal mandate to wear a mask when traveling. A ban Reinbold says in a new radio interview that she learned of via email. She claims she has a mask exemption, but did not specify what it is. It was just completely blew me away what, what, that, that they wouldn't even get my side of the story, didn't do due process, and yet they issued a, a punishment. Reinbold is a firebrand in Alaska politics. In February, she was admonished by the state's Republican governor for spreading lies about coronavirus. And this month, she was booted from leading a state Senate committee. Now, she'll have a problem just getting to work. Alaska Airlines is the only carrier that flies from her home district near Anchorage to the state capital in Juneau. Reinbold will now drive hundreds of miles into Canada and take a five-hour ferry, a journey she documented on Facebook. Beautiful Alaska. Masks have been mandated on commercial flights during the Biden administration. The Transportation Security Administration has received 2,000 reports of passengers refusing to wear masks. But Sarah Nelson of the Association of Flight Attendants says enforcement has been up to airline employees who Reinbold once insulted as mask bullies. The rules don't shift just because of what your title is. There is no uh, special considerations because you think that you are special in some way. That's the message here is that in aviation, we're all equal. The FAA tells me it's looking into this incident. In fact, it just fined three passengers new fines as high as 30 thousand dollars. The FAA has a zero tolerance policy against unruly passengers and Jake Reinbold is not returning my request for an interview. Oh, what a shock. Pete Montine, thanks so much.